Hi, I'm Emily Rose. And I'm Dan Philgreen. Welcome to Shell Point Today for Wednesday, June 12th. Thank you for joining us for another enthralling episode. Today we're venturing out to the Coastal Commons where Chef John and his team are getting ready for an extraordinary evening of Italian cuisine. And we're here to tell you about a fun night we've got planned. It's Jazz and Italian Night here at the Banyan Grill. Ooh. Tanya Hoschild is back with us to take a deep dive into another exciting read. Entitled The Vanishing Box is written by British crime novelist Ellie Griffiths. We're cooling off with another health-minded aquatic exercise. If you cross your right ankle over your left thigh and you tip back, it actually looks like a four. We're taking the show on the road by inviting Jeannie Veldman into the studio to talk about some upcoming trips from Icing's travel. But first, we're uniting a population for a look back on this day in history. It was 32 years ago today when President Ronald Reagan reached out to his political adversary, Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev, and asked him to tear down this wall. In the aftermath of World War II, Berlin was split into four sections. Three of those parts, controlled by America, Great Britain, and France, united. The Eastern Bloc, secured by the Soviet Union, remained isolated and in 1961 built the Berlin Wall to maintain a divided mentality from its neighbor. However, years of oppression and violence in the Cold War began to dwindle down. As the United States was preparing to discuss arm reduction talks with the Soviet Union, President Reagan made his impassioned plea to destroy the wall and unite Germany. It took two additional years before sledgehammers would turn the wall into rubble and reunite Germany and bring an end to the Cold War. And you know, Emily, I was over there not too long after that. I got a little piece of that wall. I remember you showed it to me. That's I right, actually you got to held it in your it. hand. I know. It's holding history. There you go. <laughs> well, happening tomorrow, celebrate Father's Day a little early this year by attending the Donuts for Dads celebration over at the Banyan Grill. Acclaimed pastry chef Amber Ross is already getting the dough ready for tomorrow's event, where she's loading her homemade chocolate churro donuts with a variety of fillings. To accompany your donut delights, there will also be an accompanying, accompanying breakfast buffet featuring plenty of eggs, bacon, sausage, and of course, plenty of coffee. Every dad will also be leaving with a special gift. Sign up is required, so if you want to start your Thursday with some fresh baked donuts, then be sure to head to any concierge desk and secure your table for tomorrow's Donut for Dad breakfast feast. After a superb breakfast, be sure to take a nice nap. That way you'll be well rested as the community thrift store keeps the lights on a little longer for their monthly late night event. The shop over at Miners Plaza off McGregor Boulevard will be extending their closing time until 6 p.m. That means you'll have plenty of time to leisurely stroll up and down the aisles as you check out all the furniture, clothing, household items, and so much more. Plus, with new inventory showing up on a daily basis, you'll never imagine what new items are waiting for you. Tomorrow, take advantage of some extra shopping courtesy of the Community Thrift Store as they once again host their late night shopping event. The time has come to unwind with some jazz and a lovely Italian dinner. That's the theme of an upcoming dinner event coming to the Banyan Grill next week, and you're invited. 